Assalamualaikum. I'm Shafiq Aiman Behelm Shahrul. I'm from class 4E3. My matrix number is 2020-960-117. Rapid urbanization and rapid population growth have increased the demand and the consumption of water. It has also contributed towards the pollution of water. In Malaysia, the main sources of water are from the river. And the river pollution is a real problem as more and more rivers are being polluted. The continuous river pollution will deplete the water sources. Our rivers are being threatened by several sources of pollution. The main sources of pollution are big farm, agro industry, sewage treatment plant, and the manufacturing of sulfur and grey water. Many people think that the water that flows out from the pipes are from dams, but, it, but in actuality, they are from polluted rivers that has been treated at water treatment plant to minimize the pollution of our river. Awareness campaign should be held and the importance of clean river should be taught in school as to change the public opinion regarding our river. Companies that have been found polluting the river need to be fined also. Hi, I'm one of the members in this room and my name is Shazal Iman. I will talk about the water pollution that causes serious problems in our country and impact negatively on the sustainability of our water resources. As we know, one of the current issues, especially in Malaysia, is the shortage of water. This is due to water treatment plants were shut down because of polluted river. This happened because of people keep throwing unnecessary things and trash into the river and the factories dispose of toxic waste. Moreover, this issue will give back impact to people, which is people can get enough drink, water, or watch. It may also lead deadly the health disease, including chloria and tripoid fever. Hence, to prevent from shortage of water issue, all parties must take responsibility, control the pollution, and build better water treatment plants. That's all for me, and thank you. My name is Evana Jihabindi Shahar with metric number 2020968271. So I will explain the next current issue related to water pollution. In Bayan, lepas Pulau Pinang, the income of 200 fishermen has been affected by river pollution over the past few years. This pollution is believed to be caused by garbage and sewage dumps into the sea. This pollution treated life in their catch area thus affecting the income of coastal fishermen. It also caused fishermen to experience acne skin when exposed to the water contaminated by the waste. Among the way to overcome this problem, the authority needs to create a proper sewage system build a proper disposal center and also take action against those who throw garbage evenly. Hi everyone, my name is Elsharena Elvis and here's an issue regarding water pollution I would like to talk about. According to the Star News, plastic waste thrown into the sea has been a major problem to climb. Because of that, boat cannot travel for more than 500 meters in a river before it got stalled due to the motor being stuck with plastic and other floating waste. In conclusion, hiring a river cleaning machine such as log booms and the interceptor are the best strategy to reduce plastic emissions. For your information, log booms are barrier placed in the river designed to collect and intercept floating debris such as domestic waste. Whereas the interceptor is a solar powered machine that sifts through rivers to stop debris from entering the ocean. That is all from me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Anna Shukira Binti Ahmad Shukri. My metric number is 2020959673. I am from class EC2204H3. But today I will explain to you about the issues of turtle and also plastic. From the picture below, we can see it is about the turtle and also the plastic which is uh, the water pollution which lead to extinction of the uh, turtle species and also um, ocean creature. The impact from this issue, we can see that sometimes uh, uh, marine turtles will uh, also die from plastic which is they consume floating bags mistaking that for jellyfish and also it is major concern from um, sea creatures estimate that one of a million marine animals is dying because of the plastic debris. However, the mitigation actions should be taken in order to save the turtles and also sea creatures. We can reduce on plastic debris and also uh, participant and coastal uh, clean, clean up 
to reduce plastic use and in order to make our oceans clean and also we can carry reusable bottles and also shopping bags to the shopping mall to in to decrease the using of plastic in order to save the turtle last but not least please do not attempt to feed the turtles and it is also harmful and illegal for us that that's all from me assalamualaikum bye have a nice day